Hello everyone, it's Jade and welcome back to a Sims 3 creator sim on the channel. So this is actually a creator sim for a country couple. I don't know kind of how I got to here. I was just like, I'm going to make a couple that I can play with and I want them to live kind of in Appaloosa Plains, have a nice little farm home and have a horsey and a doggy because that is the go. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> this was all kind of... Um, came into fruition once I was playing the horse ranch pack and I was like, you know what, I wanna do this in The Sims 3 too so I can just play with lots of horses because I'm a horsey girl on the inside yet never ridden a horse <laughs> on the bucket list. But anyway, so just about the couple. So technically the family is a family of four with a horse and a dog. Um, I have cut the horse and the dog speed um, Kaz out just because this is already long enough and it's only two Sims and I feel quite bad. So <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to think about me talking for a long time more or less. But anyway, so what I've actually done is I've tried to leave in as much of the like beginning bit where I actually shape the face because I guess if there's people who are quite curious about how I get my sims, how I get my sims, it's kind of, this is how I do it. So it's just a lot of like nitpicking, moving, doing this, doing that. And in regards to my CC that I use in this game, <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm not going to upload them all into a big bank of like a CC folder because all the creators are unique and we should all be viewing their channels and giving them the love for actually making all the content. Like there's still a lot of people who do a lot of the content now who I really appreciate because I still play The Sims 3 to this day, even though it finished in like 2009, was it or something like that? They stopped updating it, but like people are still making things for it. So I guess just to highlight um, a few of the creators that I normally use, I think Oh my god, now I've forgotten the names. It's like Rollo. Rollo. I think so. Rollo's like hair. I love a lot of their hairs. They're my new favorite hairs. But I still have a big love for Panda Labs. A lot of Panda Labs is in my Kaz. So I don't think Panda Labs has up, um, updated any hairs recently. But yeah, so that's kind of where a lot of my hairs come from. A lot of my genetics like contacts, um, face details and stuff like that came from, I think it's WMS, but I have my originals kind of linked in my Tumblr. So please, if there's any questions on this video regarding where I get anything, please refer to my Tumblr. <laughs> um, there should hopefully be enough information there. It's very basics on CC, but yeah. It's just where I get a lot of the stuff. I have shared a little bit, but a lot of, a lot of the time when I am CC shopping, I don't want to have to go and reblog because I don't really spend a lot of time on my Tumblr. That's really bad of me, but maybe if like this was like more of a full-time job, it would be able to give me the efforts to put time into doing stuff like that. But as for now, you girls work in full time, so we gotta make it work with what we've gotta make it work with. And a lot of the time I'll just go to grab one thing. Like for example, today I've gone to look for poses so I could take cute screenies for this couple. And I just went and I was like, mm, that's a cute new hair that's just come out, but I just chuck that in my basket. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, just check out my Tumblr. There is my resources and it has a lot of like the defaults that I use. I think the skin that I use a lot of the time is the blueberry skin from, I've forgotten their name, Burnt Waffles, there we go. Oh, smashed it, but yeah, so yeah, I was just going through all the clothes and I was like, I want jeans, I want cute little cozy jumpers. So you're going to see a lot of my little crisscross patterns. So like, I think it's called like tartan patterns and gingham patterns because that's how I feel about all this. My dog's barking and I was really hoping she wouldn't be so painful today. Yeah, but anyway, so this is Haley. So she is going to be like the equestrian of the family. Um, her and her partner Hudson, I believe I've got them as a married couple. They were high school sweethearts, married, um, he's gone straight into work, she's gone straight into, you know, coaching their horses and stuff like that. And so I'm, you know, we're going to put her in the space of being like a horse trainer or something like that. And so they've moved into a little humble abode. We've got space for more horses if we do choose to grow there in the future. Also more spaces for dogs, of course. And I actually tried to have a bit more fun with the landscaping. I guess you'll all see that in the actual build that I should be putting up. These were done at the same time, kind of over a few days, and it's just been a little bit of effort to shorten that video down because sometimes the amount of time I spend on a build is actually crazy. So it's probably gonna be either another two part build or I'm gonna have to go through and reduce it a lot, which is actually what I had to do in this Kaz video. I had to, I went back and I actually removed a lot of, you know, the in-betweens. So if you feel like it doesn't make sense, it's probably why. Also, I wish I left those boots on her 
like the knee high boots i think it just suits the dress better and her aesthetic better like her little country girl vibes but we do go with heels eventually because i just thought it would be fair that she dresses it up every now and then but yeah i even went through and made my own custom like swatch for it it was a lot of fun but yeah so Haley sarah equestrian her traits are handy family oriented because I, I wanted her to be handy so that you know it's not just hudson doing all the work on the farm she's happy to get you know I was gonna say her knees dirty, but I don't even, her hands dirty, we'll say that. <laughs> um, she's happy to help out. She also does it like, say if Hudson has to go away for work, I don't even know what he does yet. But anyway, so those are just kind of the things that I wanted to put in place, just in case she was home alone. She's a very capable woman, so she's handy, family oriented. She loves the heat. She loves a hot day where she can ride her horse, be out in the sun. Um, she's a green thumb and she's the equestrian. And then um, I'll kind of go through Hudson's traits when we get into him. But I thought they're really cute. And I put in the same sleepwear that I put in with all my Sims these days, which is like the tartan shirt. But the funny thing is, not funny thing, I suppose, but Hudson has a lot of those swatches as well. So it's kind of like she's still in his shirt or his jumper or something like that. And I thought that was really cute. Also, I do her athletic wear and her swim wear, and then I go back and change them, I realized, because your girl is never satisfied. I think the whole idea of why I wanted to, I, th I think this all also came about when I was doing my Salvatore Leprosy and it felt bare. And I was like, you know what? I actually want to make a house where I can put more clutter in and try to do my best to go out a little more with CC. And so I downloaded specific CC so that I could go a bit more crazy for like putting clutter in even though I didn't go crazy because it stressed me out and the game was still lagging while I was still trying to do it so you know typical sims 3 but um so that was that's what kind of brought all this about and that's why I think I was a little bit more particular with how she looked because the intention is that I will play these guys um in my own time and do my own little um uh, I was gonna say my own little cas with them but we already have my own little family with them um, and in that space, I also just thought of the facts. Do you guys remember when I was talking about an empty world that I was going to be playing with? Again, things like that take a lot of time. And since I'm working, for, I just feel like I'm bragging about working full time, but it's not that fun. Um, but just since I've got a lot of things going on in life, it's been kind of put in the back burner. But I'm thinking if I just do like videos like this, I can just all eventually add everything to the new world, like anything I make in The Sims 3. And then it's just going to be simply Jade World. <laughs> That's my thought process because I can definitely put these guys in there. Um, I can put the chapel in there that I had that I made the other day. I can probably put in the Salvatore's home. How cool would that be? Oh, I've also been watching Vampire Diaries. So now when I say Salvatore, I'm back to where I was. I'm pretty sure when I first started this challenge, I was watching. I don't know if I'd watched that, but I was a big fangirl at the time. So that's why that name just came to me. <laughs> and now I'm watching it again and I'm like, oh, th this is where it originated from. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe that will be my intention. Um, it probably, it'll have to have all the packs. They will probably be CC, ooh. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should attempt to put it in the world and remove the CC from the game to see how it will look. And then I might um, do a CC free version of the house. I think that might be a good idea. Um, all my Sims are gonna have lots of CC. Oh, it's gonna be a terrible world, but I guess. <laughs> if you guys want to go in there pick up all those guys the real intention with the world is that everything has no cc ah look i've just i've convinced myself that maybe i shouldn't put it in there but maybe i can just make cc free versions of everyone so just like not necessarily fully cc um cc hairs and skins contacts stuff like that facial details um but hopefully just work with cc clothes should i do that or should i just go crazy these are the things that I will never know. Also, I've been talking way too much. So now we're actually getting into, I was gonna say Cece's boyfriend, <laughs> into Haley's partner, which is Hudson. So they are married. Um, also excited to have children with them, but I want them to kind of work on their careers and running their little um, cabin of a home slash ranch first off. So I also wanted to leave it a lot of his facial details just to see how I make male sims. Um, I feel like my male sims still look, to look like the base sims anyway with just a couple of extra details. But so Hudson has a good sense of humor. He's handy, great kisser because he's a charmer. He's an angler, which I kind of love. Like, you know, he likes to just go off in his little ute and go for a fish every now and then. And he's, I think his aspiration is actually like the, the fishy one. <laughs> That's so helpful. I'm so sorry. Pretty sure hers is the equestrian one. 
Um, but so he's an angler and he also loves animals. And I thought that would be fair because he also, so the dog that they have is, I don't even remember what I called the dog. I think it was like Heidi or something, just to kind of match the H names. But can you imagine that? It's a town with all my Sims. They all have alliteration. Oh, how perfect would that be? It would just be a me world and everybody would hate it. <laughs> So like, I can't marry Sally to Tim because then the names won't match in and it just won't be great. And I don't even know where Sally and Tim came from, but nonetheless. Also, this hair is quite cute on him, but we definitely go with the cheeky backwards cap because I definitely wanted a forwards cap, but they just don't look the same in The Sims 3 and I don't know how to find them. So that's not a thing currently. Maybe I should look into that. <laughs> um, but I just thought that would make sense because that's what you see with all these range, um, like all like farmer boys. They've all got their hats up because you know what? They stay protected from the sun. They're out in the sun all day. Um, they also wear, I've noticed a lot of them will wear kind of like long sleeve button up shirts um, and then you, your jeans, typical. But yeah, here comes his cap. It's much more of like a skater boy cap, but <laughs> it's, it's my farm boy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I had a lot of fun actually doing the screenings. I only did them today and this has been sitting around for probably like a month or two, um, waiting for me to put the effort into making a voiceover. But doing the screenings just made me fall in love with them again. And I'm just like, ah, let's let's get in the games. Let's just keep playing them. Been very distracted with a few new games coming out and I've really gotten back into DBD. So that's been keeping me busy as well as um, I'm thinking about writing short stories. So that's kind of where a bit of my brain has gone to lately, like just creating like a world to write like a short story for. I'm saying short story. My intention would be maybe to write something a bit more, but I've never written anything before. I'm not very like, you know, well-educated in those spaces where I could come up with like a lot of smart words or how to actually structure a story. Um, <laughs> just, it, you know, that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, but that's kind of where a lot of my thoughts have been lately and I've been reading a bit. Um, sorry, it's just a little life update while we check in on Hudson and Haley. But yeah, how have you been? What have you been up to? Working hard? Oh, it's beautiful. Do you like to go for runs? Cool. Can I come? Because I need to learn to do that. Why do I just assume people like running? <laughs> do you play tennis or golf? Do you fish? <laughs> do you have a horse? Oh, don't worry about me, guys. I'm on a whole other plane, a whole other tangent. And that's just how we like it. But anyway, so yeah, I found out just how many pairs of jeans we have in the game. <laughs> but you know what? I actually like a few of the jeans that come with one of the packs. I, can't, I think it's the diesel stuff. I don't even know if it's called that. I, I neglect that pack. But that's a pack that I will, you know, has good jeans. And I, you know what I think also influenced me to do this? Sorry, many influences on how I'm doing this, Kaz. But I was influenced by the boots and the cowboy slash girl hats that I had in The Sims 4. And I was like, I want to put those boots on my Sims in The Sims 3. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I'm putting hair on him. I was like, why are we staring at my guy in his, in his undies? Um, yeah, their hair swatches are a bit saddening but that's you know this was you know over a decade ago well i'm being dramatic but it was some time ago i also took his hat off to give him a hair but for some reason when i went to do all the screenshots he has the hat back on so i'm wondering if it must have locked it back in but yeah not much you can really do there but yeah i sorry i'm i'm like rambling for things to talk about but yeah so i've actually I have a habit of doing a lot of videos, like I'll record three parts of a video and then kind of have a moment of, wow, that's too many things to edit and then kind of get back to it later. So uh, you guys will have a lot of content coming in the next month, I believe, because I finally had a moment to breathe and edit them all. And that's why I'm getting this in today as well, because we've got it. Also, can you see his tat? He's got a little fish on his inner bi bicep. I'm literally, I don't know if that's the correct muscle name. But it suits him because he's my fishy boy and I miss him having that hair already. That's so mean, actually. We didn't deserve that. We deserved hat off formal boy. But I can always edit that later. I might even look to do a current household with them once I actually have a play. Weirdly enough, I built them. I built the house, was super excited about it, left it. 
I think it was I think a new game came out or a new expansion or something like that and I just got very distracted it wasn't the first thing that came to mind in that instance but um it's something I definitely want to get into and I'd love them to have more horses to have some kids it's bringing back my Salvatore Leprosy generation 3 vibes when we had pets and I had fawn I think it was we had the horses and we had Yara who was into all the bird catching oh that just gave me some really really intense nostalgia but I thought ah oh, I miss those days but our family was so small but we've grown so much since then but yeah I'm really happy to keep going with myself to let see we're actually on gen 6 so hallelujah we should also be like gen 7 soon which I'm so excited for because I want to do the late night pack I don't want to do it so bad just like live my punk rock life and my little vampy life because we never really got to play vampires in the supernatural one and I'm just getting distracted with channel stuff again. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'll probably be leaving this video around here. We'll have a couple of screenshots coming up in just a moment of just their outfits. But one thing I did forget was to do their athletic wear. But please forgive me. I don't think it was anything too exciting. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Alrighty, bye.